and what I need to do now is gosh my squeaky chair is really starting to annoy me right so what I'm going to do now is just mark um, my paper this paper for the inside so all these pieces that you see all these bits and pieces here they're going to have a piece of this over it um, so I'm not sure I'm actually thinking that I might like to put a little bit of the calico around the edges of it before I actually put my paper down and up like I'll mark it and cut the paper so for each individual panel that I'll use so you know that that's one panel the spines another panel this one down here is another panel and then that'll be a panel then this side of that will be a panel then that will be a panel that's a panel that's a panel and that's a panel so there's quite a few which is I think I will get out of it with just having the two pieces um, but what I'm thinking at the moment uh, just want to kind of like jazz it up a bit more and I'm thinking that maybe putting a little bit of the calico down first just around the edges um, might be a little bit nicer I don't know see I want to <laughs> this is where I confuse myself I'm thinking I want to do a grunge one um, but I'm saying words like it'll look nicer or you know I'll mark it out and cut it but I don't know this is my process so I'm not sure whether this is going to turn out grungy or not but I'm going to enjoy making it <laughs> so I hope you come along for the ride um, maybe you'd like to grab some boxes yourself and make one with me okay I'm going All right. to okay um, I've got quite a bit of calico here that I'm thinking would be just perfect to put just a little piece around the outside so I'll just quickly show you how I'll do that okay so I've got this scrap piece of calico here so what I'm going to do scissors scissors here um, I'm just going to cut a small strip so I suppose that's about three quarters of an inch I'll just check for you yep three quarters of an inch which is roughly about two centimeters so I'm going to rip that okay rip rip just get a few of those strands off I do like the the little the strandy look on it the roughness of it and right before um, before I cut my cut and measure my papers or before I glue my papers down I will actually just glue a strip of this down around the edges so you will see just a little bit of the calico like if you had enough of the calico you could just lie it straight down on the inside and then have it everywhere I did do that for my last lap book I actually done it on the outside so that the calico covered the whole lot of it and I did use up quite a bit of calico but because I just want a little bit seen around the edge I will most probably just cut little strips of the calico and just glue it around the edge I'm thinking whether I should sew it but no I'm not going to worry about sewing it because I don't I don't mind that frayed edge okay so I'm going to be doing that and I'm also going to start cutting my papers and all I do for that is I'll put 
this down you'll leave like a little edge around there and then I will mark just a little edge on this side here so that's where I'm going to do my first cut from there to about there okay so it's all going to be this height roughly this height so I can like cut that one down straight first I'll just cut a few of these just to show you um, what it's going to look like so I'm going to cut the height first for my lap lap book wow it feels like I've just talked non-stop which is very unusual for Wendy <laughs> isn't it <laughs> right so um, this is the the height of my lap book and this one here is actually the first panel so I'll just move that away again so that is actually going to be my first panel there but like I said I am going to just put a little strip of the calico down there first so you can roughly see what that is going to look like I think that will look pretty cool don't you? I do um, and another thing because this is going to be my base cover for my lap book I will actually go and zigzag around the edges before I glue that down okay so now this one here um, this one here is a little bit different because I've got this flap here and it comes in about well what is that roughly uh, a quarter of an inch from the actual spine so what I'll do for this I will put that put my pattern paper right over the top like that and mark it where it needs to be cut so I'm just thinking about there and that can go there so don't throw away any of your little bits because you can always um, you can always use them somehow okay so that then I'll just open that flap and I will mark this one again so it goes down the bottom here just underneath the flap um, it's a nice size okay but what I'll do here is just line that up and then I will just put another mark there and another mark up the top here which is just onto the right side of that flat fold okay and then just cut it so I'll do it by hand which is something I don't normally do but I will and just hope I go straight okay but I just wanted to show you how um, to do or how I do do it so you end up with a little piece out of it like that and then you can just put it down there and it's not going to interfere with your folding of your little flap okay yep that looks really good maybe cut it just a little bit too wide but that's okay that's not going to worry me okay so there's that one there and I'm just thinking that one is that strips a little bit too small but it actually might fit right there so that's another piece of the paper I've used um, now this one here 
I'll have to turn that on the side uh, which you know that's not going to worry me either so we want the um, the height which I know I could measure it but like I just like doing it this way so that's the height I'm going to be using and I'll just cut that down so oh hang on is that what I um yeah I'll just cut this little strip off because it's got some words on the back of it and I really do like keeping those words to use for other projects okay and did I cut no there's my mark I thought I cut my mark off then but I didn't so and keep that piece too in case you need it so let me see I'll have it going up that way so that fits in there pretty good and I'll just mark there where I want to cut it again just for the width of the spine now we'll cut that looks straight no it doesn't somehow there we go that looks better okay so and there's my spine all right so I've nearly got all of them cut now as it is. Now I'm just thinking will this piece be not quite big enough for that flap there. Um, no it's not. Okay so um, now I need one. See this is where like I've got out of that first sheet I've got these two pieces left uh, and they're really not going to uh, no because I really want to use like one full one full sheet so I've got those two left I'll keep them because I might be able to put them in the journal and I'll just mark this one here so that's going to go about there and that's the height so I'll just cut that so that's the height there and that's the leftover piece and this is the width of that panel there so I've got that panel strip just there which okay I think I might have cut it a bit short but that's okay because I can just put something else up there um, what's the length of that one see that's the same length there so I might be able to cover that up there I don't know why I cut that short I even turned that page and had a look didn't I <laughs> oh things happen okay all right so this one I'm only going to put it from the crease of the bend uh, the fold so that's going to go there and cut that just about there So there's that one. So that one's going to go there. And I've just got this one here on the inside. And just trying to think there. What size colour? I'll have it the dark one. Okay, so this one. And I'm going to cut that there. All right, so that's going to be cut just there. All right, guys, so I was going to leave this video. I don't know if I'll make this one a part two or not, but that's okay. Um, oh, I've still got this little one, haven't I? I thought I'd just cut all my, 
all my panels, but no, I haven't. Where was this one from? Okay, that was the off cut, wasn't it? Okay, so they're all my base panels, and except for this one here. So, is that... Oh, look, that might just be wide enough, even with that little strip cut off there. Okay, so I will do that now and then they will all be cut. So I'm going to cut this little strip off, but I do want to just mark this here. So I'll need two that size. So quickly cut them off. Cut the strip off first. Okay, so that's another strip with just some words on the back of it. And I will have to see what size this one is here. So that's like, oh, about five. Okay, so that's fine. So there's that. I'll just make sure. Yep. And that one. Okay, so now they're all cut. All right. So I've got one to go on that little flap there, right there, then that'll open up and then that one can be put on there, which will be okay. Alright, so they're all the base papers uh, for, for this lap book that I'm doing. Okay, so when I come back on, these will all be stitched around the edge and they will be glued on to each of these. Was that an off cut? Now I'm not really sure. Hang on. That one. Oh, that was the one I cut a bit too small, but that's okay because I've got another little piece here that... Um, I might make that into like a little pocket tuck or something okay all right so and then it just leaves the cover for my journal but I most probably do that last anyway and now what was I saying I'm going to go and stitch zigzag all the way around there I'll most probably ink the edges with some uh, of my vintage vintage sepia and I also will glue some edge strips down of the calico all the way around. I'm not sure if I want to put any down the centre of here yet. Um, because if I put that down before I glue that on, I'm thinking maybe put it down after because I do like that that frayed edge on that paper but I'll see about that okay guys I hope I haven't confused you too much <laughs> but this is just I thought I'd just you know really kind of like go in depth with this one um, and just show you exactly what I'm doing and if you feel so inclined to make one along with me please let me know down in the comment section so that I can go over and have a look at yours or you can let me know and I'll make sure I'll catch you catch you your pictures on Facebook or something like that okay all right well that's all for today you all have a great day and I'll catch you later bye bye